A business owner called WBTV for help after writing a check to one person and having someone else cash it. Consumer investigator Caroline Hicks is on your side getting the man's money back and offering solutions on how you can keep this from happening to you. For 25 years, Frank DeJohn has been paying his contractors by sending checks in the mail. He never had any problems until last October. Wrote a check uh, from my business to one of my subcontractors. He called me, never received the check. So I said, all right, well, let me check into it. That's when he realized the $1,620 check had been cashed into a different account at Citibank. When you found out that it had been deposited to the wrong account, what were you thinking? One, someone stole the check and cashed it. or. As, a, as larger companies, they open up all the mail, get all the checks, stamp them all, and then deposit. So I thought, okay, it could be an honest mistake. He reached out to his bank, Wells Fargo, and requested it be investigated. The person in the, in the branch told me, we have the check, we know where it is, in 10 days you'll have your money back. And that's just not been the case. That's not been the case. He says Wells Fargo continued to move the deadline for when the investigation would be complete. They do say that they'll resolve the issue in 90 to 120 days. We're well past that. I reached out to Wells Fargo and Citibank and within a month, Wells Fargo issued a temporary credit to DeJohn for the $1,620. In a statement, a spokesperson for Wells Fargo told WBT TV. We are advocating for our customer by submitting the required documentation to the bank that cashed the check to try to help resolve this matter for our customer. At this time, the funds have not been returned to us. Yet in the meantime, we have issued a credit as a courtesy to our customer. We have seen check washing happening, unfortunately. Juliana O'Rourke with the Better Business Bureau says there is a risk associated yeah. with sending checks in the mail. Electronic payments would be probably your biggest and best option. If you do have to mail a check, drop it off directly at the post office. As for DeJohn. One of those things that I'm just going to have to rethink. I also reached out to the U.S. Postal Inspection Service. They recommend you file a report with them if this happens to you. You can also file a report with your local police. An extra layer of protection that's out there is certified mail, which provides the sender with a mailing receipt, tracking history, and upon request, electronic verification that your mail was delivered. I'm Caroline Hicks with your Consumer Solutions.